crew, let's clear the set, please. City when the police were called regarding a bunch of chickens that were on the loose, when in actuality, you were making Hollywood movie magic. One of the best parts of being an animal trainer is I get to take my kids home every night with me. I'm lucky to work with a great team of trainers and staff that truly love, respect, and care for our animal stars. On behalf of everyone here at Universal Animal Actors, have a great time and enjoy the show. And now, please welcome one of Hollywood's top animal trainers, Miss Amanda Hernandez. Hello, good evening. Hi, everyone. Welcome to Universal's Animal Actors. My name's Amanda, and this is my Yo. friend Rocky. And we both get to work for a company that's been training animals from movies and television for over 40 years. Now, what most people don't know is that many of their favorite animal stars come from rescues and shelters. And just like Rocky, they got their training right here on the stage in front of a live audience. In a little while, we're going to reveal what it took for our animal stars to make it on the big screen. In the meantime, sweetie, you are all set. Off you go! Here we go! This way! Go on! <laughs> Okay, let's get this show started with a little friend of mine from Ace Ventura, Pet Detective, and We Bought a Zoo. This is Sparky. Hey there, Sparky. Now, we've trained our birds to fly from one person to another. To help demonstrate this, I do need help from an adult volunteer. So we're halfway up in this midsection would be great, and it does need to be an adult. Uh, sir in the red shirt, you're perfect. Go ahead and stand up for me. Please stay there and take out a dollar bill. Now, the reason why I asked him to take out a dollar is that Sparky might feel uncomfortable flying to somebody he doesn't recognize. So as seen in Universal's Evan Almighty, we've trained our birds to fly to a common object. In this case, it happens to be a dollar. Great, fold it in half. Fold it in half one more time. Place it in between two fingers and extend your arm out straight to your side. Sparky's gonna see that and know exactly where our actor is located. <laughs> that was... Thanks, to the show. <laughs> Who over here has a $20 bill? <laughs> All right, Sparky, he's been a good sport. Let's get the dollar back to him. 
We're gonna make it easier on the bird though. Extend both arms out. Now you flap really hard, I'm flying down here to get it. One arm out. Paul facing up like a little landing pad. Sparky's been a good sport. Go ahead and take it on back. Grab it quickly. Excellent job from Sparky. Well, as always, little buddy. A little great start to the show. Here's a little extra snack. Nice job. Thanks for volunteering. You're all set. Off you go. Hey, look, there's our stagehand. Not only do we get to work with cute, adorable birds like Sparky, but sometimes we get to challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As seen in Universal's Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches this hawk with both precision and grace in a spectacular feat of flight. We'd like to recreate that movie yeah, magic right here. Focus your attention to the back of the arena. In the small closed box is a star from 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arrow. <laughs> Hey, this is perfect. Stay right there, though. Uh, sir, with that dollar, go ahead and stand up for me again. This time we're going to send you Arrow. He's going for it. Oh, no, sit down, tough guy. It's a joke. Thanks, you two. Arrow's a captive red African auger buzzard, part of the raptor family. A group of birds consisting of hawks, eagles, kites, falcons, vultures, and owls. We'd like to introduce you to a cousin of Arrow's in a rare close-up appearance. stars, Sweet Pea. of high flying, so welcome out our stunt bird, Diego, a green wing macaw. Diego's trainer Jesse is going to place him in front of a strong current of weight. Once in flight, we can swap out that background for any scene to see what it looks like in a film. Take a look at the screen. show is how do you get your dogs into movies and television? Well, it all starts out with some basic training. And to help demonstrate this, please welcome our star from the movie, The Proposal. This is Juice. Hi, good girl. Put on the brakes. Sit on. Juice was just four months old when she was cast to the role of Kevin alongside Betty White and Sandra Bullock. Before our dogs can go on to a movie set, they do need to know basic hand and verbal cues. And one of the most important tools we use is something called a mark. It's usually a simple black circle, but it lets our dogs know where they need to wow. stand in any given mm. scene. Let's show them some behaviors, Juice. Get on your mark. Set. Lie down. On your feet. Back up. Sit. On the box. High five. Nicely done, Juice. Excellent job. Good girl. Little extra scooby snacks for you right there. Now, once we've mastered these basic behaviors, we can move on to something a little bit more difficult called the work away. This is where Juice is going to have to pay close attention to my voice because she's not going to be able to see me. But for this, I do need help from a young lady, perhaps a little girl not afraid of dogs, would like to help me out here on stage with Juice. How about there in the red shirt? You want to help me out? Come on down. 
Oh, don't get run over. <laughs> Hi there. What's your name? Holly. Holly, where are you from? Um, okay, welcome to Hollywood, Holly. Come on over here. Have a seat in this chair for me. So what I'm going to have you do is cup your hand just like this, just one hand, and then put it on top of your knee. What I'm going to do is put one of Juice's favorite doggy treats in her hand, and she's going to come by and take it from you. All right. All right is our release command to let Juice know she can get up from wherever she is. Holly, you can go ahead and give her a pet because this is your co-star. Nice to meet you both. There we go. Yeah, she wants to give you a nice little hug. Very good. All right. Now, how we set up this work away is I'm going to have Juice facing our actress and away from me. Juice! Come on over here, Juice! What are you doing? We have an animal star over here, a guest visiting us over here, so we want to make sure you get back up here. Juice! Come here, little lady! Juice! We gotta finish the work away! I know, it's your new friend. Juice! Here we go! Come on, little lady! Let's go! No, this way! Good girl, come on, get around! All the way over here! Good! Come here! Sit down! Stay. I'm going to place the mark in between the two of them right about here. Whoop. Next, I'm going to take the same kind of doggy treat, but this time I'm going to place it in front of our actress for Juice to focus on. Now I'm going to move behind her or step off camera. She's going to respond to only my verbal cues. Good stay. Wow. Sweetie, this is for the dog. <laughs> Stay. <laughs> We're going to try this again, so I'm going to step behind Juice off camera. I want her to be looking at our actress, Holly, so I'm going to tell her to watch it. What she's actually going to do is look at the treats. I'm going to give her the command to watch it. Good girl, watch it. On your feet, stay. Lie down. Side. 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 <laughs> Side, all the way, side, watch it, side, juice, watch it, watch it, watch it, pretend you're trained, side, juice, get on your side, side, head down, all the way, head down, She's very dramatic. <laughs> Straighten up. On your feet, stay. Back up. Back up. Back up. Back up. <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> Get on your mark. Lie down. Down. <laughs> on your feet. Lie down. <laughs> down. Lie down. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Now, if you ever saw the movie The Proposal, Juice did all of those barking scenes with Sandra Bullock in the bathroom. So that is her favorite behavior. So to kind of trick her, we're gonna do something called a retrieve. If you watch TV or movies or commercials or anything like that, and you see an animal running around uh, with something in their mouth, that's called a retrieve. So we're gonna try this out, see how she does. We can add in this at any time and make it a little bit more difficult, especially when we're on a set. So I'm gonna tell her to pick it up. Good girl, pick it up. Hold it, good, hold it. Watch it, hold it, sit, lie down, hold it, on your feet, back up, sit, sit, hold it. Oh, we were so close. Get on your mark one more time. Come on, we're going to work our way through this. Pick it up. Good, hold it. Good girl, hold it. Watch it, sit, on your feet, back up, on your feet, hold it. Oh. So close. Come here, good girl, pick it up. Good. Watch it, hold it, sit, lie down, on your feet, oh. <laughs> almost, last time, come on, uh, dog up for adoption after this, <laughs> pick it up, hold it, hold it, hold it, juice, okay, so we're going to put that away because we never force an animal to do anything they don't want to do, so we're just going to try a couple more behaviors, she got a little excited when she saw an animal friend over there, so that's a little bit of a distraction in her head, but that's okay. That's why we do always do this training on here before we go to a set. Sit, lie down, on your feet, back up, 
Sit. Sit up. All right, that's two, so the work away. There we go. Nicely done. Holly, come on over here with me. Thank you so much for helping me out. I got a couple of things for you. First of all, here's our front of the line pass, and you are officially a trainer for the day. You're very welcome, sweetie. Nice job. Not only do our dogs have to listen to us trainers, sometimes, but they also have to listen to an actor. So for this next scene, how about help from a young gentleman, not afraid of dogs, who'd like to help me out. Okay, in the gray shirt, I saw her hand shirt first. Oh, no, not you, you can buy out.